Hi, I'm Jody and hope you are doing well geeking with Jody where we are in these series. We do different things, but in this one, I'm solving and explaining as deep as I can the top interview questions in programming. We solved one from uh, Merge Sorted Array. We solved one from Two Pointers. It's not here. Maybe something else we solved it like this. Matrixes and hash maps. Let's solve one from hash map. Ransom note. It's easy. Hash maps are a very, very cool data structure used in many places. I believe I have one video in which I review the source code of C Python and show you why hash maps are that fast and cool. Normally, if you have a data, for example, a list like this, and you check if five in this list, what happens is there is no other way. Python and any other programming language should start, check if this is five, if this is five, if this is five, and find the five. This is very, very, very time consuming, especially if you have a very, very long list, you have to check everything. Or if you want to change something, that would be time consuming, especially checking, not changing. Uh, but that's because you have a memory and you have your items in the memory. And whenever you want to check something, you should look into every single possible place to find this, especially if it's not there. So you have to check every single one to make sure that this is not there. But what happens in the hash maps? In Python, dictionaries are hash maps. So you have this, you say, Jadi is 180, Gina is 185, and dog is 80, for example. And you check if Jadi in for example, edge. What Python does? First, Python looks at your Jody, creates a hash from this. Hash is a one-way function, so Jody will be converted to something. And Python will go exactly to where this thing points in the memory and sees Jody. This is how it saves the data and refers to the data. On the list, it was a array and you had to go one by one in memory locations and save everything. When you are creating hash maps, you hash this. This will point somewhere in the memory and the data is saved there. So when you say I want the value corresponding to Gina, what the Python does is, okay, I will hash Gina, I will reach something, I will look into that place in the memory and the value is there. This is super, super fast. I believe I have a video describing this in C Python. Uh, if I have, I will link it here. So here we have a question. It says given two strings, ransom note, oh, we have some ransom, and magazine, return true if ransom note can be constructed by using the letters from the magazine and false otherwise. Each letter in magazine can only be used once, logically. If you have seen enough movies when they stole your money and say, bring your child, we want to no, just steal the child and say, bring money, we will give you back your child. What they do is they don't, they, in the old times, they never handwritten or typed on a mechanical typing machines, the ransom note, because that can be traced to the people. Nowadays, they would print it or email it. Still can be traced. Fun fact, some printers do have some dots which can show which printer have printed this letter. Bad news for ransom people and your privacy. So what they used to do, they would buy a magazine like this, and they want to say a letter which says, bring us the money. So they would read this. Oh, there is a B here. They would cut this B and glue this be here. Then R, they would read this and there would R here. So cut this and put it here, bring the money. They would create a letter like this. Now we have a variable called magazine and we want to create ransom note from that. What we should do? There are our samples here. For example, here the magazine is 
AB, the ransom note is AA. So A can be constructed from this one, but the next A, we don't have any more any A. One very, very, very bad, slow and ugly solution is start with this. See, I need an A. So go here, find an A, remove this or replace it with something silly. Then go for the next one. We don't have any more A, so return false. But this is very bad. A better solution and the solution with the uh, hash maps is first create a hash map from this. So I would say letters, letters, empty hash map. We have an A. So I would say letters like this. A is one. We have a B. Letters B equals one because we had one. Then when this is finished and we have this structure, we can start from here. Do we have an A? Letter A, we have A, we have one. So turn this to zero and go to the next one. Another A. Do we have A? Yes, but it's not one. It's zero. So we don't have any other A. Return false. This is my logic doing this. Let's start. I will write in Python to make it easier. Okay. I would say when starting, letters is an empty dictionary, which is an empty hash map in Python. Four character in, one enter to make it more clean. Now I know what I'm doing. Four character in magazine. If character in magazine, sorry, letters. So we had this. Letters character plus one. I add one to the letters I have. Else, if we never seen this character in the magazine, this is the first time. So letter C equals one. I've did my first task. Reading all the magazine and populating variable letters with that one. This is a dictionary. So whenever if I had a C, I would say, OK, do I have a C already? If yes, C is two if it was one. Next time it's three. If no, it's equal to one. I have seen one. Now the second part. Let's go through our ransom note for character in ransom note. If I have to see if I have never seen this character, return false. If not see in letters, return, sorry, return false. Else, if the number I still have is zero, return false. I don't have any more. You don't need else here because I'm returning. If this happens, I'm returning. So if uh, letters C equals zero, it means I have zero left, return false. Okay. If I have never had that letter, I would return false. If I don't have any more of this letter, return false. Now it means I have this letter and I had more than one. So letter C minus equal one. Decrease one from the number I have. If all the letters are finished and I haven't returned as false yet, return true. Very nice. This should work. Let's try it. Ah, uh, yes, we are passing all the tests. I can submit it to see the results. It was straightforward, easy, later. And we are accepted exactly in the middle. Ah, our memory beats 90% of people, but our speed is exactly in the middle. But we had a very, very straightforward, clean solution here. Ah. Uh, we can make it much, much, much faster if it is needed. This is clean, understandable, and nice with not much huge footprint. But what we've done, if you were the ransom person, first you read the whole magazine page by page, letter by letter, and said, I have these letters. Now I want to say 
bring the money to the trash can in street one at nine o'clock that's done you don't need to read all the magazine create a compilation of every single letter to start this more logical thing is starting from your letter say okay bring i need a b okay let's go i have a b that's done so starting from ransom should be faster i can say and in the previous solution i haven't used any language specific functionality sometimes you shouldn't because in some language you have lots of things if they say count how many a's we have you should not say a count a in python this is kind of cheating your string is here so but now i want to write something much faster using python specific features i can say i was thinking about using sets sets are sets so set of for example a a b c c d will be a b c d because it's a set you don't have repetition anymore so you can say look at my ransom letter i have some letters there right check it by the set so we only have the letters used in the ransom then check if the count of that letter in ransom is less than the count of that letter in the magazine if this is the case go for the next one if this is not the case so see what letters do i have in my ransom if the number of letters in ransom is more than the number of letters in magazine we have failed we cannot write it down right so let's write it so i will say for character in set of ransom note if you can say in python like this ransom note count of c how many of this character i have in my ransom note is larger than or greater than magazine count of c return false if this is finished and you have not returned return true very very straightforward but using python specific features like set and count so i'm saying go letter by letter if the number of letters needed is greater than the number of letters in magazine i've failed otherwise it's true let's submit it we were on 50 percent as you remember you can see we now beat 95 percent of other people speed wise we are worse in memory still beating 27 percent we're bad in memory. <laughs> clear because we create a set we check the count each time and this kind of stuff and this consumes memory but speed wise we are much better but remember now we are using language specific features in the previous one we were not using any python specific or super python specific we used uh dictionaries which is kind of possible to do the same logic in most of the modern programming languages but here we are using set we are using count so this is better if you are interviewing for python the previous one was nicer the best one is describing that okay that was a more popular method this is more pythonic method which is faster because of this because of that they want to see if you can think if you can say the process of your thinking it can, if you can show that you are improving you are finding new ideas these kind of stuff is much much more fun than if they see that you remember every single part of the book have fun write this for yourself play with it solve it in a worse way in a better way with other ideas and make your programming better you will be in one of the good companies soon be sure